Hey, welcome to Luxury Mojo, where you can stay up to date with the latest motivation to grow up financially and cultivate a millionaire lifestyle. Getting your finances in order and saving money both start with assessing the way you spend money. Most of the time, we spend more money than we make. We never think much about the small purchases, but they add up sending us into the red by the end of the month. Today we will be counting 13 things you should stop spending money on now to save more money later. If you want to get updated about top latest motivation to grow up financially, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more content in the future, and click that bell icon to stay updated of when we post next. Let's begin with 13 things you should stop spending money on. Number 1. Unused Subscriptions What's the latest with your magazine subscriptions? Monthly online subscriptions? For magazines that are no longer being read, mostly online subscriptions that are no longer being used, etc., please discontinue payment as soon as possible. You must review these things from time to time. Appropriate action should be taken once they are no longer useful. You don't need to spend money on that. You should take exceptional care to review those subscriptions that automatically debits your account. Number 2. Luxury Brands a luxury brand can be a great experience when you find one that suits your needs. And while there are many woes when it comes to the cost, rest assured that the right luxury brand can be had without having to empty your wallet every month. Millionaires can afford the latest fashions from the top designers, but that doesn't mean they're spending their hard-earned money on high-end apparel. The founder of IKEA told on Newsweek that he doesn't wear anything that is not from a flea market to set a good example, and Bill Gates told Time that he still wears a $10 watch despite being able to afford a closet full of Rolexes. These are the money tricks that can save you $1,000 a month. Number 3. Buying instead of renting some folks are going so far as to not even deal with the hassle of buying a home. Many are opting to rent. According to Extras Mansions and Millionaires host Michael Corbett, renting is more popular than ever, even among the wealthy. While it once made sense for people who could afford it to buy a home and flip it after two years, the market has improved moderately this year. We're hardly in a boom. So buy your home and invest your money once instead of living in a rental house. Number 4. Multiple Credit Cards Understandably, a person might not want to walk around with a ton of cash in their pocket, but don't think for a second that their wallet is filled with a credit card from every bank. Only 8% of people use more than one card. Meanwhile, 77% of people have multiple credit cards. With more cards, there are more fees to keep track of, more financial charges to accrue, and generally more opportunity to buy things you don't need. Here's when to never use a credit card for payment. If one card is enough for you, then why use multiple and risk wasting more money? Number 5. TV Channels and Video Games Rich people didn't amass their fortune sitting around staring at a screen all day. And that's why they don't waste money on jumbo TV packages or the latest video games. Adults in households with annual incomes below $25,000 spent considerably more time consuming media through TV, video games, or radio compared to adults in households with annual incomes over $75,000. We expected high-income houses to own more devices, but we did not anticipate that low-income consumers of all devices had greater usage, says Glenn Enoch, the author of Rich Habits, the daily success habits of wealthy individuals, found that 67% of rich people say that they don't watch TV. To get more money in the bank, follow these habits of people who are great at saving money. Number 6. Individual Greeting Card Celebrating and acknowledging important events is a central part of maintaining positive relationships. But, one card with all the bells and whistles can cost up to $10 or more. Crazy, right? You could send an e-card. Many companies will let you personalize and send e-cards to your loved ones in exchange just for your email address. This is an environmentally friendly, money-saving option. If you have children, family and friends love homemade cards and letters. If you make a personalized gift, inscribe it. Buy bundles of cards. Each letter will be under a dollar. 
I hope you guys are enjoying what you're watching. Make sure you're subscribed to our channel for more content like this in the future, and click that bell icon to be the first to know when we post next. Enjoy the rest! Number 7. An Overpriced Home Although the home buying budget is considerably higher, people still look for deals. They want to feel like they're getting the most value for their dollar, and not like they're getting ripped off. Yes, they might be spending millions, but they're going to try to bargain with the list price like anyone else. Some individuals even go so far as to not purchase an extravagant home at all. According to the US News & World Report, Warren Buffett may be the third richest man in the world, but he still lives in the home he bought in 1958 for $31,501. Number 8. Brand New Cars I love cars. But just like devices and gadgets, brand new cars tend to be heavily overpriced. This is so much more in Africa, where automobiles are imported. Due to the high cost, there is a market for used models. So why would you shell out so much money to buy a brand new car, when the used version of the same car can serve the purpose? The amount used in purchasing a brand new car could buy a number of multiple used cars with lots more change to spare. Number 9. Gambling and Betting Today, many people believe that by gambling and betting, they can make it big financially. Nothing could be further from the truth. The odds are heavily stacked against individuals. Even when you win reasonable sums, the attraction to gamble further to make more surfaces. Eventually, you will end up losing it all. Mavis Wanzik of Massachusetts won $758 million in the US Powerball lottery. But for every major winner, there are millions of losers. Stop spending money to try to get rich this way. Number 10. Overdraft Protection Fees This one is aggravating. Most banks offer overdraft protection. Spend more than you have in your account, and the bank will cover the difference up to a certain amount. You'll just pay interest on the overdraft until you pay it off. But here's the catch. In addition to interest, the bank now charges a fee as well from about $10 to as high as $35 from what I've seen. These fees can make a payday loan look like a good deal. As a result, stop relying on overdraft protection fees and save your money. Number 11. Landlines and Fax Lines Nowadays, people have cell phones, and much like payphones, landlines and home phones are being phased out. If you have a landline, this means you also have a separate phone number, and it's much easier and more convenient to use one number, so stop spending money on that extra line. If in any rare case you need to fax a document, any delivery service store or local office supply store will have a fax machine you can use or can fax a document for you. Number 12. Extended Warranties Service contracts and warranty extensions are the biggest pet peeve. I don't like it when a store clerk asks me if I want to spend $39.95 to add one year onto warranty for something that cost $150. Are they serious? Yet electronics retailers and other stores make a fortune on extended warranty contracts. While none of us want to spend $150 to replace or repair something that breaks, we could if we had to, or we could go without. The service contracts and extended warranties are never worth their cost. You should look to ensure only those things that are vital, like your home, life, health, and auto, and that we could not afford to replace. Plus, many credit cards offer extended warranties for free. This is just a wastage of money. Number 13. Many Personal Care Products It's really easy to justify spending way too much money on personal care products. But do you really need 4 different types of lotion, 16 hair products, and 25 shades of eyeshadow? Probably not. Your best bet is to keep things simple. Find a hair, face, and body care routine you like, and stick with a handful of affordable products. These were our 13 things that you should stop spending money on. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe so you can join the Luxury Mojo Squad and be a part of our channel. Thanks for watching.